Oh Lord, Jensen made another one Hey y'all, so what the hell y'all doing? I had to ask cause look, I know that world is in shambles right now My black ass supports Black Lives Matter I just had to let y'all know that Okay, for real, BLM, Black Lives Matter, F the police F Donald Trump, I'm with all of that, okay? I'm with all that protesting all that, but let's F some shit up. They just mad, cause our ancestors was out there fighting the power, and now we out there, we out there beating the out of the power, bitch. We stopping the power with some temples, ho. We not playing no more. The power don't even want no smoke right now. The power getting rocked. We out there jumping the power, bitch. We not playing with the power no more. So all that fight the power shit, nah, the power know what's up now, ho. We out to burn some shit up. And excuse my, um, powdered donut underarms. Um, child, it's this new spray deodorant that I'm using and girl, it got me up right now, but it's cool. Yeah, and then on top of that, like, is coronavirus even real? Is corona even virusing anymore? Like, all these protests, all these folks outside, woo woo, and I'm gonna try and stand like, but anyway, that's two different stories for a whole nother day. Today, we talk about tattoos. Tat it up! Tat it up! Tat it up! So this video, honestly, is just about my tattoos and my tattoo experiences and what I know about tattoos and what I want to tell y'all about tattoos. So when we gonna get right straight to it. So, let's first start with how many tattoos do I have? Let's just start with that. So, I don't know how we gonna really count them because like I got my tattoos in pieces. So that's like 20 song tattoos. Uh 20. Bitch, I can't count. Damn. Ooh, I can't count. Chapu, you know how to count. I don't let you know. You know what it is. First tattoo I ever got was my three daisies. Uh, this is lavender, blue, and pink, right? I ain't gonna uh, I ain't gonna tag the tattoo artist because I don't want him to go to jail because he ain't had no business tatting my underage ass. That was my first tattoo. I was what? 16 going on 17. She would really inspired me. Well, clearly my name is Daisy, so I mean that made me get the daisies. But what really made me get into like tattoos and really wanted a tattoo, it was my mama. Girl, let's tat it up. I'm gonna drop a picture so you can see. My dude's a little funny. <laughs> She walk around here look like a Chipotle bag, bitch. I'm trying to look like you. Like, what you saying? So, shit, I was ready. I ain't even gonna lie. I honestly was trying to get these, um, daisies right on my hip. But, bruh, and my mama kept saying, like, oh, that's gonna hurt. And you don't want to do that for your first tattoo. And woo -doo 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 -doo. But whatever. So, I ain't even gonna lie. I kind of, like, freak myself out. Because, you know, just like anything else, before you do something, you start Googling and YouTube and videos and whatnot. And girl, I got to um, getting on YouTube, girl, and looking up tattoo experience, like first tattoo experiences. And somehow, some way, YouTube took me to like infected tattoos and shit. And niggas' tattoos was oozing out like, I know, I know you lying. I'm not about to get that shit. I'd be damned if I could get my arm amputated off, bitch, because you want to play with your, your tools. No, I was scared. I ain't going to lie. And then, um, bro, I can't say her name. I looked up, like, things to look for in a tattoo artist. He was doing that thing up out the crib. Like, it wasn't like we was in the shop. So, I ain't going to lie. I was a little, like, oh, up in that nigga mix trying to figure out what he had going on. Oh, my, my happy, my excited experience went to frightening, went to shook. With to scared. I was trying to like mentally calm down, but then my mama like, girl was right behind me making it all, making me nervous. Like girl, bad, bad. Looking at her like, damn, can I get at least four? Oh, five? Dang, and we talking about inches away from me. Like she was right here trying to make sure, she's the same way. She's trying to make sure everything all right. Like the fuck going on? She all right, right behind me, I'm like, so she was making me a little bit more nervous. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But when I was getting a tattoo, I ain't even gonna lie, it, it hurt. 
we ain't even gonna see that cap out and be like, it won't hurt. But it just didn't hurt as bad as I thought. Like I, mean, I, like I said, I freaked myself out. And then eventually my body went into like shock and it numbed. And you know, it didn't really hurt as much. So I'm really glad I did get it right there. Cause I thought I, I know I would have been in that hole screaming, hollering if I would have got it on my hip. The pain level would probably be like, Okay, for it to be my first tag, initially TNT ho, we, we, we finna play about. But more or less, after a while, it was like a 5, 10, I ain't even gonna lie, or maybe a 6. I'm gonna be real. But since we talking about pain levels, let's talk about the most painful tattoo that I got. I ain't gonna lie, my foot and sternum probably like Muhammad Ali and Floyd Mayweather, bitch. Then there's a fair fight, ho. I ain't even gonna lie, I might have to give it to my foot. We talking about the most, most. I'm gonna have to get it to my foot. My foot beat the dog shit out of me. I ain't even gonna lie. That beat my ass. I, I don't know. My foot, yeah. Yeah, because maybe the whole experience itself was a bad experience, okay? The tears. I was in that bitch crying like I was just left out of my motherfucking funeral ho. Keep it all the way tall with y'all. I'm already stupid and slow to even let that man that tap me tap me. So let me let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all so. Well, I can't make this up, I can't make this up. So my homeboys was basically getting a tattoo or whatever. He was goddamn, he, they was like, they wanna go get tattooed. So you know me, I'm like, fuck it, let's just go. Like, I'ma just go ahead and just, I don't know. I didn't really know what I wanted. So I'm just like, you know what? I'ma just see if I can find something while I'm there. So I ended up finding something on Pinterest where I saw the girl had roses or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? I ain't even look up the pain for the, the foot tattoo. Hey, hey, shut up! I'm telling I cannot make this up. They gonna sit there and tell me. I wish I knew this dude at man, because I ain't gonna lie, I would drop his act. Nah, I wouldn't do him like that, because that's still police as fuck. But they gonna sit there and tell me that bruh do coke. Why would y'all tell me that? <laughs> but they dead was serious, like, bruh, yeah, he be, he be on coke. Like, I don't know if he on coke right now, but he definitely be on coke. I'm like, fuck it, I just wanna get one. Who would've thought I would've made the decision like, oh, well, he's not doing my tattoo, whatever, stiff arm. No, my dumb ass still was like, oh, well, I'm already prepared for a tattoo, so he gonna do that bitch today. His crackhead ass gonna do that shit today. Let me, let me throw this out there, though. He wasn't even a good person to, like, get you mentally prepared for a tattoo. When it was time for me to get a tattoo, he was so aggressive. Like, damn, give me a hug or something. Like, why you acting all mean? In the mix of me getting my tattoo, I was crying, like, girl, like, I ain't even gonna lie to you, the whole thing was painful. I can't even say, oh, one part wasn't, the whole entire tattoo was painful. Like, I don't know if my body was even accepting the fact that I was in pain as bad as I was. And girl, this man gonna fix his mouth to say, stop moving, baby girl, you gonna mess up the tattoo. You can't move. Man, I can't fuck out you. Karate kick your ass. What are you talking about? What, the same foot that you tatting. Men over 40 always wanna hit you with a baby girl. Like, I don't want you to say baby girl to me. You old fart. I'm not your daughter. But anyway, so yeah. It's crazy because I really want his social media, not even to post him on the video, but more or less, I just want to see what we got going. Like, is you still doing coke? Is it still something that you do? You still tattooing? Like, I don't I, I don't know. Is he alive? Like, shit, I don't be knowing shit. So yeah, pain level 10, 10, all, like, I ain't even gonna say 10, 20, 10, bitch. Now my sternum, this is my sternum. 10, 10 as well. Um, this guy, he was a white dude. The only white man that's ever touched my body in general. He was cool. He, I remember he looked like Machine Gun Kelly. I'll never forget. He was telling me a lot of like um little things that I didn't know. Like I had stopped using Andy ointment because it was fading my tattoos and just little stuff like that. But super cool dude. I'm talking about OD cool. Until that damn needle touched my skin, we were no longer friends no more. <laughs> Instant beef, I swear to God, we was beefing enemies, ho, foe. He was not my friend no more. Dead, I'm serious. That needle to skin contact did it for me. I, he didn't even have to go no further. He did that one little line. I'm like, ah! We might want to switch up the design now. The fuck? And we might want to just do something different. And baby, that experience ain't nothing I want to put on nobody. I want to stop him expeditiously. I want to get the fuck up and go. I want to go away home. I want to never even think about, I ain't even gonna lie, that made me not even want to think about another tattoo ever again. I don't even think I got a tattoo no time soon after that. Like that scarred me. These tattoo artists, 
think like, oh, like, oh, let me just do, do is there a pain switch, nigga? Like, you think I can just flip it on and off? Like, oh, I just, oh, my bad. I'm, I'm tripping. Let me just turn my fucking pain switch off. Like, damn, like, sorry. Like, I'm saying not to say this. The dude kept saying the same thing that the crack fiend said, like, mama, mama, chill. Mama, mama, you don't want to mess up this. You, you want to, you might want to stop jumping. Because I was jumping. I was doing a lot. You know, doing all that. I was ticking and shit. But, you know, he was just like, oh, mama, you don't want to do that. I'm like, do y'all know something? I don't. Talk about I keep moving. I'm about to move up out this tack bed and move to the car and move to my home. Away from you, cause bitch, what the time I keep moving. Do y'all know how to handle pain different from me? Like different from humans? Show us a tutorial this since you know what the fuck you doing. Do you know something I don't? Because clearly I don't know how to I don't know how to take this pain right now. What the fuck? Let's move on to my least favorite and my most favorite tattoo. So we're gonna start with the least. And um uh, I'm just throw that out there in the world. I don't even acknowledge this tattoo i'm gonna be all the way tall with you i be forget like when we was doing the little count i ain't even think about this tattoo i ain't even gonna lie this is what the tattoo look like fuck that damn tattoo i like to be done rip this tattoo off my body just like sandy did old dude on that episode spongebob when everybody was trying to act like they was tough how tough am i <laughs> wow that i i bro. I've been gonna rip this off. The reason why, cause I got this tattoo with a non-factor. We're not even gonna bring him up. Mm -hmm. Got this tattoo with a non-factor and it's a matching tattoo or whatever. So, you know, it ain't like it's a name. Even if it was a name, I ain't even gonna lie. I would've covered this bitch up myself. I would've, I would've took, the, I would've bought me a tattoo needle and did that shit my damn self. But you know, it won't nothing like that. So I, you know, I ain't really tripping off of it. I do plan to get it cover up. Because I don't even want nothing like that on my skin or my soul or nothing like that around my universe. But, um, yeah, I don't really be paying no mind to it like that. And that's only because the memory of it, like I said, I don't really be paying no, no mind. But the, the split second that I do, I be like, oh, this burdens my soul. <laughs> like, I don't want this on me at all, no more. So, you know, cover up me, please. Now, my most favorite tattoos is a competition. It would have to be between my grandparents' portraits, my great-grandparents' portraits, and the tattoo that I just got. Dip, I ain't gonna lie, them up. Oh, ah, I'm gonna say this real quick, real quick. Portraits are tricky. Like, we gonna talk about this real, real quick. In the process of them doing the portrait, it don't be looking now like the person. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. He was taking pictures, cause it's on my back, so he was taking pictures of the process and girl, I ain't even gonna lie about broke down and cried. Cause who the hell? I, when he showed me that bitch, I'm like, who is this stranger? Who the hell is Dex? And I'm like, I don't fuck up. Like all I can think about is like, I don't fuck up. Ugh. There's no way I messed up like this. There's no way. Cause he was amazing. Like this dude, his name is Long Live Tattoos. He's super amazing. Like you don't understand. But like I said, in the middle of I'm like, child. Do everybody so great and you fuck up with me? How you do that? Like you got everybody spot on and you got my great name looking at out here looking like a nigga named a nigga named Leroy. Who the hell is that? I'm just like what? But far as pain, okay, so like right here, it will bang. I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't even gonna flag. It will bang right here. It was hurting a little bit. Oh, the results was just I can't even I can't even put it in words, but she would be. <laughs> No it was beautiful though. Like for real, it didn't make you. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I dropped a tear on my way back home. Um, I got on a flight and I was out of there. And I ain't gonna lie, that shit was beautiful. So yeah, um, shout out to Chad. Um, with my his beautiful work, that man has immaculate work. I ain't gonna lie to him. Do be cutting up. I got a four round buckle. My second favorite tattoo, is, like I said, is this one. And I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I tried my hardest to vlog. I know y'all be talking about do more vlogs and da da da. I tried my hardest, but child, boom. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I can't get my vlogging skills right. Maybe I need to get me a selfie stick. Or I need to get me a, uh, I have a professional camera. I just never use it. Maybe I need to just get that together. Give me a camera crew or something like that. I'm gonna get more in camera crew. Follow me around, cause maybe I need that. But I don't know. I just didn't get my vlogging right. But I tried my hardest to get the steps 
of getting the tattoo. So y'all can go through the steps with me. We're going to go through them together. So this is going into my, my favorite tattoo and the steps of getting a tattoo. I know you're like, damn, that big got close. But my stand was acting dumb. I had to add this real quick. King Inky is my boy. That's my bro. He's the one that does most majority of my tats. I had to add that real quick. Let me try my best and my hardest to behave myself today. I've been here screaming like I'm delivering. Sometimes I mean, it depends on what. At certain spots, we bite. bite my ass. I don't be trying to be fucking dealing with that. Okay, so this is what I'm getting today, y'all. You know what Inky about to fuck me up with? K, K, K. My boy about to be Picasso in this game yeah. real quick. Bitch, I'm really rich. And I'm so caught up in my ways, I turn all this shit. All the same 50 from the bank and it's a goddamn. I ain't got to walk and I just caught it no. Okay. Okay. Never went to jail, was never on no chain. Picasso is done. I always throw my crosses, that's what they always get. Get this spot ready. Oh my ass, she, bitch, I'm always ass. Every time I'm doing a video, I'm ass. But bitch, she gonna um, basically get this spot ready for me right now. I ain't really Wolverine in it right now. I'm a little hairy. So you beast ass hoe and you beasty ass nigga. This part might be a little tough for your tattoo artist. You gotta shave this part. No, but nah, um, yeah, he gonna have to shave this. And then we gonna get this the fuck. Try to keep me out, say take it or leave. But I got the full name print on me. Mm. Designer shoes, it's on the right jeans. Y'all black nigga really yes, can't. Yes, sir. Mm. See, right now, I can't see nothing, but all that feels like it's him burning the fuck out of my fucking bones. Don't you stop playing games. I'd rather be your N-I-G-G-A. Oh. Uh, whatever. Okay, you can see. He's right there. It don't really hurt like that. Because he's not on no bone. But they soon he get on that bone. Fire. Fire. <laughs> I feel like he's burning me. Get out of my fucking. Like, literally, when he's on my bone, it feels like. See right there. Oh bitch. Oh I'm gonna slide the shit out of this nigga. It felt like it felt like he got a lighter to my wrist. Oh <laughs> Okay, so he's shading right now, and um, shading basically feels like somebody scratching your toe with a pitchfork, and bitch, ow, owie. <laughs> At this point, my body is in just shock. Um, I no longer want to record because I don't want y'all to see me like this. I'm a bitch right now.
Millions on the table, that's major. Uh, Turn dirt into diamonds, that's major. Uh, Foes on the Mercedes, that's major. Uh, uh, Old gang going crazy, that's major. Uh, uh, You see how I tried to mash that all together and make one big vlog? I tried, but I don't know. I suck. I tried. But it gives you kind of like the quick experience of everything, of how like it is or whatever. But that's just that. And now we're going to go into our um, tat facts real quick, and then we're going to end it with that. Number one, don't get no tattoo high with your dumb ass. Don't get no tattoo drunk, stupid ass. Don't do that. If you get it high... Your brain ain't gonna do nothing but focus on that pain. It's pain and tattoo, pain and tattoo. So don't get no tattoo high thinking, oh, I'm gonna be so chilly, I'm gonna be so, oh, no, I ain't even gonna be thinking about it. No, you're, you're, that's cap. Don't do that. Don't get that bitch high. Getting tattooed on an empty stomach, just not it. Don't do it. You, all that blood that you losing, you might fall out in that hole, for real. Like, don't even do that. Just go get you, get you something to eat. Not a snack. Don't get you a bag of chips. Bitch, get you some food. Another tat fat. Lady, this for you. Because you dudes do it. I mean, I know that's kind of like double standard, but hey. No, don't tat that nigga name. The fuck, you don't even got no car. I don't know if you don't have a car, but listen, I'm just saying. Even if he do have a car, he using it to go cheat. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Don't be tatty man. The man name on you, girl. No, this ain't no your book. Don't be telling folks name on you, for real. Don't get no damn, don't get no names, bruh, for real. That man don't deserve that. Another tap fact, if you get something in another language, ho, ask somebody in that language if that's right. Don't just be seeing stuff on Pinterest and Googling stuff on Instagram and think, oh, that say, that say love and peace and happiness and Chinese and girl find, come find that say chicken wings and cheese fries. So don't use Google Trailer and nothing like that. Like really do your research to make sure that that's what that says. For you around here looking slow. Like for my um tattoos that's going, my um tattoo that's going by my back, I asked an Arabian man straight up. What that say, what this say? Not when I got a tattoo, but before I got it, I said, what this say? He told me, so I was like, oh, yeah. That fat, it starts to hurt way more when they either tell you they finna be finished, you know you finna be finished, you see you finna be finished, you know, y'all already know that's something with your brain. That got something to do with your brain, they ain't got nothing, nothing else. That's your brain. Another tap fat, um, the least painful places are your arms. So if you wanna get your first tattoo, I suggest anywhere here, and anywhere here. The inside of the arm hurts. I ain't gonna lie, they little bang. Yeah, but this area hurts, buying, buying season. Tap fact, anything on the bone is gonna feel like you is, they is hitting your soul. I'm talking about, you feel that bit through your body. Like, I, when he was doing this, and it was on this little bone right here, I'm talking about, I feel like, I'm, like uh, I'm talking about straight through my veins, I felt like, girl, that was, I ain't gonna lie, that told me up. Anything that's on the bone is gonna straight up hurt. So I'm just warning y'all right now, that shit gonna hurt. Another tap fact, um, you, don't have to use Aquaphor or A&D or any of that type of stuff. I use lotion. I use Lubriderm. It's my opinion. Like I said, everybody's different. I feel like Aquaphor and A&D, and like the um, little white boy had told me, it heals it, but it makes it fade because that, like all that stuff is is scar healing stuff. So when a scar heals, it fades. So you putting healing ointment on a tattoo is gonna fade. Cat fact, I don't know personally. I never use a numbing cream that works. A lot of people be asking me, do numbing cream work? All the numbing creams I use never. I can't really think of nothing else right now. I think that's just about it. it was really what I really want to talk about. But that's all I have today. That's enough about tattoos. Um, I'm hungry, like any other time I end a video. So I will be back. The next video will be, um, rate my outfit i'm gonna ask one more time because <laughs> i need some more outfits i did like your outfits but i wanted some more fun ones 
So I'm gonna ask one more time, do like, do anybody wanna send me some outfits so they can be in the video, the next video that I'm gonna be dropping next week. So I love y'all. Y'all go get, if you wanna go get tatted, go get tatted up. Okay, go do it. But I love y'all, I'll be back.